As you can see, we've got some big boulders that we're working with on this project. So super excited to get these in the pond and create some beautiful work with it. All right, we have a really cool one here today. We're just getting started on this project here. This is gonna be a 15 by 20 pond with a 15 foot waterfall going into a negative edge. And what a negative edge is, acts kind of like a skimmer, but it gives us another opportunity for a waterfall. So um, this is what we're working with here. The guys are coming around right now, bringing back our aqua blocks, getting those set up. Our waterfall is gonna start right about here. It's gonna come down, do some pooling areas, fall into our 15 by 20 pond, and then it comes over to there. We're about where the excavator is now, and we're getting ready to start digging for our reservoir. We're gonna have an 800 gallon reservoir on here to catch all the water when the system turns off. So the water is gonna come over about right here. We got our marking, come over here and then go down another little waterfall into the reservoir. We're gonna have a seating area down here with the patio. As you can see, we've got some big boulders that we're working with on this project. So super excited to get these in the pond and create some beautiful work with it. end of day two and a half i think and uh made some progress it might not look quite like it just yet but this is what we've got we've got a lot of our reservoir here disguised up so it doesn't look like a rectangle we got some of this brought in brought some dirt back in on both sides right now our bag of gravel is in the way to cover up this in but we got some really cool rocks here that are going to help retain this grade back here so we got a nice sudden drop down this. That's gonna be our spillway coming over our negative edge. So we're gonna frame it in with some large boulders over here. So this is our, obviously our pond. So when that water comes through, it's gonna spill over there, drop about 20 inches into our reservoir. We're gonna put in like a false bottom liner. So when that water comes, it doesn't just immediately disappear. It's gonna have some pooling effect as it overflows and then falls into our big 850 gallon reservoir got our pond up here this is a really complex job lots of great shots lots of planning ahead so we don't have to move dirt more than once and um, so we've got a lot of our grade down here already this is gonna be the edge of the pond we're 12 feet off the patio here so they got a nice little buffer of lawn before it comes up to the pond but uh, you might not be able to see it very well but this is our first shelf here in our the reason we're not going very deep on our first shelf is because a lot of the large rocks that we want to use over here in the back they're only about 10 to 12 inches tall and we want a little of them sticking out above the water level and a little of it below the bottom of the water level so um, that way when you walk up on top of these huge rocks you're looking down at the pond and uh, you look straight down at your fish so the middle of the pond here is going to be dug out about two and a half maybe three feet in some spots and then our large 15 foot waterfall is gonna come all the way back up here using large machine place boulders. And our biofilter is gonna sit right about right there. So we've got lots of grading still left to do, lots of dirt moving, and we haven't even started on excavation of the pond really. But a lot of this excavation is gonna get taken up and then brought back out because we want grade, final grade, to come off right about in front of that tree is gonna level off right up to our biofilter. So a lot of this dirt's gonna come around and then we got some grading issue, uh, some grading fun to, to do over there on the back end. So doesn't look like much, but I promise you a lot of progress has been made up to this point. So I think tomorrow we're gonna have uh, probably Cam and Trey come back with me tomorrow here. Kyle's gonna be out taking care of some maintenance stuff for us, but um, Hopefully we get some real progress done. Hope to have the pond excavated out tomorrow and a lot of our grading issues taken care of and uh, 
hopefully in a couple days we'll be rocking this pond in and uh, it'll start taking shape. project the guys been over here this morning doing some final touches putting some mulch down um, bringing all the equipment down to the curb so we can get hauled up and out of here and uh, got the lights up last night homeowners texted me this morning said they were beautiful loved them and uh, excited to get this one put to rest and let them enjoy us out of their backyard finally so check it out